Both our economy and the environment are in crisis. Wealth is concentrated in the hands of a few, while the majority of Americans are struggling to get by. The climate crisis is worsening inequality, and the most economically vulnerable bear the brunt of flooding, fires, and disruption to food, water, and power. We can address these interlinked crises by doing four things. First, create green jobs. Investing in renewable energy could create millions of family-sustaining union jobs. The transition to a renewable energy-powered economy can add 550,000 jobs each year, while saving the U.S. economy $78 billion through 2050. In other words, a Green New Deal could turn the climate crisis into an opportunity, one that both addresses the climate emergency and creates a fairer and more equitable society. Second, stop dirty energy. The potential carbon emissions from fossil fuels in the world's currently developed fuels and mines would take us well beyond the 1.5 degrees Celsius increased warming that scientists tell us the planet can afford. Given this, it's absurd to allow fossil fuel corporations to start new, dirty energy projects. Meanwhile, fossil fuel companies are planning to invest trillions in new oil and gas projects, and over half of the industry's expansion is projected to happen in the United States. Allowing these projects means locking ourselves into emissions we simply cannot afford. Third, kick fossil fuel companies out of our politics. For decades, these companies have been polluting our democracy by pouring billions of dollars into our politics to push policies that protect their profits. This lobbying bought them $20 billion a year in taxpayer-funded subsidies. Politicians who are willing to sell millions of acres of public lands to the highest bidder, and in 2015, the lifting of a 40-year ban on the export of crude oil. This has to stop. We can't wait five or 10 years for these changes. We need them now. Fourth, require the fossil fuel companies that have profited from environmental injustice to compensate the communities they've harmed. Companies like Exxon have known since at least 1977 that fossil fuel use would warm the planet, but chose to mislead the public instead of taking action. Meanwhile, millions of Americans, especially poor, black, brown, and indigenous communities, already have to fight to drink clean water and breathe clean air as their communities are devastated by climate-fueled disasters. Climate denial and rampant pollution are not victimless crimes. Fossil fuel corporations must be held accountable and be forced to pay for the damage they have wrought. If these solutions sound drastic to you, it's because they are. They have to be, if we have any hope of keeping our planet habitable. We have no room for meek half measures wrapped up inside giant handouts to the fossil fuel industry. We deserve a world without fossil fuels, a world in which workers and communities thrive, and our shared climate comes before industry profits. Working together, I know we can make it happen. We have no time to waste. What do you think? What else can we do to stop the climate crisis before it's too late? Let us know in the comments.